Target acquired. Dispensing product. Hey guys, Ed here, and I got a big box of shit in the mail today. Um, and I'm really excited to show it off. So, uh, I unpacked all of it, and I know this is like the biggest unboxing ever. Or, uh, as so I've said. Um, but I pretty much unpacked it all, and it all came in this big box right here. And I still have moving boxes around my room, but as you can see, there's lots of uh, pieces in there that I didn't mind to take out, but I pretty much unboxed them. Yeah, this is a big, big, big box. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna go over some of the boring stuff first, uh, as here's a little update, I'm kinda getting my shells all put together. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just do it in one big review. This is, uh, part one. <laughs> yes, uh, I, um, this is all from my friend Sebastian. Um, basically what he's doing is he was selling his entire... Uh, Transforms collection and a bunch of other uh, Gundam items which are over there and I will show you in a minute but basically he's selling his entire collection because he's making money for prom and because he's a year younger than I am and he really wants to make it you know a really good impressionable night for this date of his and um, you know I have I paid him I paid him you know half paid for uh, anyway uh, basically bought his collection off of him for uh, purposes of why he needed money for good cause and uh, I'm really glad that uh, I bought it off him because well I got a bunch of cool toys and he uh, got money for his prom date anyway I guess I'm just gonna go around and look at some of the stuff here I uh, got some animated guys uh, one animated guy and I have a duplicate of him uh, this guy bludgeon whatever I always wanted a bludgeon uh, we got the G2 Prime Another Cybertronian Fall of Cybertron Prime, which honestly, that is one, and two, three, and then I have three in box down there, four, five, and there's two more over there. So I've got a lot of these guys lying around uh, that I'm going to turn into customs and sell for people. And Rodimus, and this is, I believe, my fourth, because I have one... Uh, let's see, I know there's at least two on that shelf, and then there's one in the protector armor right there. So I've got a bunch of them. Jazz, I have three of. Perceptor, I also have three of. Cyclonus, I also have three of. Scourge, I have two of. And Megatron, which I also have two of. Um, so, duplicates, customs, I'll do whatever, but these are pretty good figures to have a handle on. Um, we've got four prime figures here. We've got Optimus, Knockout, Hotshot, and Wheeljack. And I honestly have a wheeljack already. He's right there, and I also have Prime, which is somewhere in there. So I've got an extra Prime, an extra wheeljack, and I actually went ahead and bought Knockout myself. He's right there. But, uh, I don't know, I've got an extra Knockout lying around, I guess. Uh, I might turn him into... I might just, like, customize this into a really good robot form of him, I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with all the names. Uh, I just got a bunch of freaking Energon guys. Really, I always wanted him as a kid. I always loved him because he had the big spear thing. Uh, I got some of the uh, combiners to make. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Devastator. Uh, activated Grimlock. That's cool. And John Hotcha. This guy is awesome. This is the uh, 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 Human Alliance Road Bust Roadbuster. That one. Here's this guy from the first movie. I always loved him because he's got that big Decepticon logo on the front, but I never got him, but now I have my chance. Um, let's see, Snowcat, uh, Barricade, got some, uh, these are cool. This was, uh, honestly, he said it was his favorite toy in his collection, and uh, I really cherish this, and I honestly just think this is one of the coolest Megatrons ever. It's just a really interesting design. I love the whole King crown thing on him. Just a very cool toy. And same with the little Optimus. I really love the chrome that they put on his uh, 
his belly. I didn't even know they made a deluxe uh, version of Transformers Energon Optimus. But that is very cool. I got six shot right there. Soundwave, another uh, Energon Wheeljack. Got the two leaders from uh, Cybertron, which is really cool. The end of the whole Armada Saga. So you got pr big old Prime Megatron there. Protoform Starscream in the back. Uh, there's some more Armada guys. Wanted this guy ever since I was a kid. This is uh, Laserbeak. I'm probably going to review him just because he's so freaking cool. Uh, Thundercracker, aka Starscream in the series. Got Wheeljack, another one I always wanted as a kid. Megatron, another one I always wanted as a kid. These are just kind of like me buying the collections I always wanted to have as a kid. Uh, I think that's Sight. No, that's uh, fucking. What's his name? Silver Streak? Blue Streak? I don't know. Something. Some Streaker? Sideswipe? Sideswipe. I think he's Sideswipe. Uh, the Remold of Energon. Sideways, or whatever it's called. Bunch of little mini guys. Just, yeah. So, I mean, again, I know a lot of you aren't too big on Transformers. But yeah, that's a uh, massive Transformers collection I just gained there. A um, lot of Energon guys that I needed. A lot of duplicates, but I'm going to keep them because I know how much Sebastian, I know how much he really treasured these. Sebastian, I didn't just buy these off of some stranger. My Sebastian, he's one of my best friends. He's one of my closest friends uh, on YouTube and just in general. And uh, I'm really glad that uh, I got some of these. And anyway, now, moving over to my messy room, here is part two. Yes, there is more. Um... Here we have, this is a Japanese Minicon set. Really like that. There's the uh, Walmart Devastator, the movie one. And he traded me a bunch of uh, Gunpla. This is mostly Gundam stuff. Got a Master Grade Double O there. A little high grade Astrea. I think this was the green frame wrench that he painted up. Delta Plus. Uh, Gundam with the G Fighter. All the little pieces down there for it. The three uh, lead age suits, or age one suits, sorry. Banshee, X Gundam, Marasai, and the Zagak. These are very, very nicely painted. Um, he did these from these uh, Remnants of Xeon episode from Gundam Unicorn, which uh, was really cool. Um, I remember when he was painting these. Got the Bound Dock, that's a EMS or a MSIA, something like that. I don't know, it's a big mobile armor, fully transformable. Got the Gurren, Gurren Nishki. From Code Geass. got a little figure of Colin there. Can't wait to paint her up. Really like that. Really love the fact it comes with a little figure. It actually comes with a little one of her squatting down in the cockpit. Um, MSIA uh, Gym Command, which I think he just threw in there, which is really cool. Robot Damashi Exia, which is already going to a new home. Um, I found a very, very nice guy who has supplied me with my SCMs. Which are those four right there. And uh, uh, to lower the cost a bit, I am trading in this Exia since I already have one Exia regular one. And then I've got a repair version somewhere behind there. And then I've got one buried on my desk. And then there's this guy, which is the extended mobile suit in action goof. Fantastic toy. Complete, utter beauty. Uh, very vinyl. S just looks very soft. It's just it's a damn damn beautiful toy. It comes with the whip, the, everything. Um so and then we got some Dimashi. He's got the uh, Gundam Avalanche X here right there, just kinda chilling in box. Got a uh, Wing Gundam Zero Custom right there. And then below that is actually the Strike Gundam. And I'm honestly thinking about having a contest soon, because I already have a Strike Gundam, and this is in good condition, and uh, I might just trade that off. And we got some little minifigures here. Uh, these are kind of just thrown in as freebies. We got Amro and a Captain. These are really cool. Really like these. And then uh, that weird whippy guy from Iron Man. And last but not least, I'm going to move all of this stuff to get it out. Um, this is pretty much what started our trade. He's been trying to sell this to me for over a year, and I finally just buckled and cracked, and he sold it to me for a very good price. Get these robot Damashis out of the way. Oh, there they go. Oh, whatever. 
This is the Yahoo Japan exclusive Bandai Evangelion Things Falling Off My Desk. Synchro rate of 400, Soul of Chikokin Limited. This is one of the rarest Evangelion figures in existence. And it is now mine. Um, let's see if I can get a picture on the back. Sorry about my messy desk. Yeah, you can take all the armor off of it. Um, this is literally the perfect Ava. Just one of the best figures on the market, and I absolutely cannot wait to review this. Um, the way to get these, according to my sources, you cannot get one of these. You could not originally purchase this without having a Yahoo Japan account, like a Japanese Yahoo account, to pre-order this when it came out. And again, one of the rarest figures on the market for Evangelion. Um, and honestly, I think it's one of the most accurate because you can actually display it with all the armor broken and everything. But I guess that's about it. Um, I am, I've honestly been home for four hours setting all of this up for this video, going through, putting things together that kind of fell apart in the mailbox, and, uh, overall, I am very satisfied, and I cannot wait to dive into that, those Dimashis, and just everything else, and start getting all this stuff in, integrated into my collection, um, and it's very cool, because, um, a lot of this Gunfla, um, Sebastian was working on this, um, while he was, like, texting me, and he would send me pictures, like, I remember the Marasa and the Zagak, he, uh, he painted those, um, a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, like a year or something, and I offered, I remember I just, like, randomly offered a, him to help, uh, paint, and I think he got, like, offended because he didn't, he's like, oh, don't you think I can paint them on my own? And I just remember that for some reason, but there's memories bound into those, which is making my point. So, I guess that's about it, guys. If there's anything in specifics you want to see reviewed, just let me know. And this concludes the greatest unboxing video ever. And I will see you all next time.